Welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. And today I'm going to do a, I guess it's kind of a continuation of when I reviewed that capstan uh, blue flake because I told you what I got in the mail. It is my moonshine pipe. I am so stoked about this. Not only because it's an awesome looking pipe, I'm not really sure how it smokes yet. That's what this video is going to be about. But also because they're local, they're in Nashville, Tennessee. And that, that, that makes me excited to support local business. When I got this in, of course, I noticed that my cap stand was 13 year old cap stand, did a review on that instead. I'm in the same clothes because I filmed it on the same day. In fact, I'm doing this right after I did the cap stand. Speaking of which, the beard note on that cap stand after the smoke, whoo, it's good. I know I was kind of indifferent about it, and I'm st I still am on the smoke part, but I, I think that's just the mildness of the of the Virginias. Maybe am I am I saying that right? Uh, it's just kind of simple. Uh, I like the complex, rich stuff, and maybe that stuff's not supposed to be like that. Here we go, Yabo from Moonshine Paps. Are we supposed to call it a Yabo if it is something we buy? Because I notice a lot of people are doing Yabos where they're trading stuff or getting gifts from people. Uh, I'm going to do it anyways because I love saying the word yabo. My yabo for moonshine pipes. Woo. Using my CRKT. The reason I just said woo is because I almost sliced my stomach open. Right off the bat. Here is, I'm assuming the pipe. Feels like a pipe. If it's not a pipe, there's some really cool swag thing in there. Uh, I'm going to get to it last. But it's got the nice felt pipe sock, pipe bag, pipe sack. I kind of like calling pipe sacks. It's got Moonshine Pipe Company on it. Little lightning bolt is their logo. Got a sticker, Moonshine Pipe Company. That will be going on my safe. Got a Briarworks uh, sticker, Nashville, Tennessee. I've heard a lot about them and apparently they're associated with Moonshine Pipe Company because when I paid on my receipt, it said Briarworks. But everything I've heard about them has been 100% positive. Same thing with Moonshine Pipe Company, both of them. Ooh, cool. I love koozies. Got a Briarworks koozie. And then of course, my invoice. Which, this, this is the stuff I love. Even as simple as a three word message, when people handwrite stuff on invoices or put a little note in your box. I know I just ordered a t-shirt from Dagner Pipes. They don't know anything about me or who I am or what I do or anything and they still put these little notes like hey Zeke thanks for the order Jason's mom and that was so cool and it's stuff like that that makes customers keep coming back uh, at some point I'm going to start having pipes and do business conversations so if you have business questions ask me below and maybe I'll start having those conversations I've been business a long time and one of the keys to staying successful is making and creating super fans of your business and stuff like writing a little message that says, and I'm not going to say who wrote it because I don't know if their employees want their name mis mentioned or not. Thank Zeke, exclamation point, enjoy, exclamation point. It's awesome. Just, that's so simple, but it's creating a super fan in me, especially if this pipe smokes awesome. What I'm going to smoke through it is Stonehenge today. I've heard to break in pipes. I didn't mention this in my how to break in a pipe video because I didn't know about it yet. I've heard to break in pipes. You want to make sure to use something light. Virginia, which is why I was going to use the cap stand, but I didn't because of the age and I was excited. I uh, thought Stonehenge was an English, but according to smokingpipes.com, it's a Virginia. If it's not a Virginia and it is an English, I don't care. I'm smoking it through this thing. Here we go. Moonshine Pipe Company. This is the Devil Ants. Oh, natural. Take a look at that one. Everybody does this too. I guess I should do that. Maybe you can see a better background. I'm going to show you a better picture in a minute. But I got the the tortoise shell stem. They had black available. They had, I think it was white, amber, and then the tortoise. And I wanted the tortoise in the leather stained, but I thought this would look a little bit cooler. Okay. They were out of the tortoise in the leather stained. But I, I really like the natural too. It's really awesome already it feels good it's i don't i wanted something small people call them nose warmers even though it's kind of canted outwards i wanted something small like this that i could kind of clench sometimes and just see how it does the geometry looks like the hole's going right in towards the bottom of the bowl everything i've heard about them has been phenomenal 
just the little the little things they do the stickers the the koozie all that stuff it, so far so good they've got the little things i like about it uh, uh their lightning bolt symbol is really cool kind of goes back to that moonshine days white lightning it's a white lightning bolt moonshine usa with a lightning bolt is uh, possibly laser engraved maybe hand burnt with like a stamp or something i don't know uh it looks really good because they left some smooth where they could put that on there uh i'll show it on the on the lower video so there's a pile of stonehenge right there here's a little bit better imaging on the the pipe here you got the white lightning moonshine either burnt stamped or maybe laser engraved who knows anyways no matter what it is it looks awesome i love how they left kind of like an oval of the smooth on there to make that happen and then of course the tortoiseshell stem which is gorgeous it's not really made of tortoiseshell people tortoise is a style of i don't know if, i think this is acrylic delrin whatever they call it i don't know i'm just wanting to review the pipe and see how it smokes Let's try to get a good image of some of the insides of this. There we go. Looks pretty good. Now it's time to smoke it. Smoking pipes, I'm gonna be really mad if you make me sound silly by calling this a Virginia, the Stonehenge, because that's what your website says. I'm just kidding, I love smoking pipes that gone. Smells good. I love the smell of fresh briar. Almost has a sweet smell to it. Yeah, a piece of tobacco just went up my nose. Guess it's kind of like long cut snuff. Oh. Mm. I've got an amazing draw and I, I even accidentally packed it a little tight. Uh, but I loosened it up. So let's go with the char light. So first impressions off the char light. This is not a, a negative thing at all. I'm just not used to it. I've never had a nose warmer. I've never had a devil ants. I've never had anything short like this. So I, I gotta get used to that, that flame going off right in front of my face. But that's not a negative. That's not anything that's a downfall of this because the draw on this pipe, I don't know if it's the devil ant shape because I know it's really popular right now. I don't know what it is, but this, it rivals my Dunhill, which is probably the best smoking pipe I have next to my Peterson. It's not lit. I'm still, God, but the draw on it is pretty friggin' awesome. All right, let's smoke it. Well, I'll smoke it, not let's smoke it. But smoke a bowl while I smoke this one. Oh, I love Stonehenge. And I'll tell you what, right now, that's the first drag I've had off the True Light. Man, I think I may have loosened it up too much when I overpacked it the first time. Anyways, the first drag, now it's the second and third. I had off the true light this wow oddly enough as short as this is I thought okay with these little shorties they're gonna be hotter smoke you have to get used to them this thing's freaking amazing I'm gonna have to give this a great big, holy sh this is awesome. Man, it doesn't feel like I've got anything clenched in my teeth. I've got a little, in my initial pipe buying, when my PAD was starting to kick in, for those of y'all that don't know, that's pipe acquisition disorder or disease. 
I did that the wrong way, didn't I? So <clears throat> when I was first doing my, my, when my PAID was first kicking in, I bought this Mr. Brog cheap pipe. I'm not saying Mr. Brogs are all cheap. There's some really good ones out there. But this one was cheap off of Amazon. <clears throat> may have been pear wood. Uh, it was really, really light. I, it may have been briar. I don't know. As light as it was, it was briar. But then I started getting some really nice briars and it wasn't light. And I, it's a, maybe an inch longer than this. And it's a, they call it the hammer. Uh, it's a poker. And it, when I clench it, it starts to get heavy. And I start to actually feel it on my jaw. This thing, man. Two thumbs up, let me try and, holy crap. And I'm not just saying this because of the Stonehenge and I love the Stonehenge so much. I'm honestly saying this because this is a hell of a good smoking pipe. And I'm assuming because it's natural, even though there's a little bit of some kind of polish, I'm a, maybe carnauba wax or something that's sandblasted, uh, but I'm assuming it'll color a little bit too, but it doesn't matter. It's a great looking pipe. And it's, it's rustic enough to where you can feel fine camping with it, but it also with that tortoise, and it's got this little band that's smooth right after the stem that makes it classy looking too. So you could even take this to business meetings or really fancy cigar bars or pipe, pipe clubs or what have you and feel totally in place. With me, I, if I went to a fancy cigar bar, I wish I would have a pipe that looked like that. I'm gonna make one, Deadpool pipe. Of course, I'll probably have to call it something else because of copyright. I'm talking too much and it's, it's going out. Look at that smoke coming out the tip. <laughs> yeah, Moonshine Pipe Company, you, you nailed it. <laughs> or drilled it. <laughs> Get it, drilled. This is an absolutely outstanding pipe. Would I recommend you buy it? Once again, when I do reviews, it's my opinion and my opinion only. But good God, I would tell you to buy one of these. I paid for this. This is not a paid review. They did not send this to me as a gift. They don't know me from Adam. I would say go with this all day long. And it's made in the USA. Not saying the pipes made in the country, other countries are not good. I love my Savinelli's, I love my Peterson's. Just got an Aldo Villani. You can try out my Dunhill, but it's always nice to support local business in your country. And I don't just have the benefit of supporting local USA business. I get the benefit of supporting my local state and technically my city because we're kind of in a, well, we're outside of a, we're a suburb of a suburb of Nashville. So, but this is amazing. There is no smoke being blown. Well, not up. You know, I'm not blowing smoke up. I am blowing smoke, but okay, I'll just stop. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're thinking about getting one and you're trying to find a review that'll tell you yay or nay, man, for the price, I paid 150, I think, tax and all. Oh, it's not on there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was tax and tax shipping. Everything was 150. You cannot go wrong at all, at all. This is an outstanding pipe. This will not take me long at all to break in. So, mm, I'm gonna keep smoking. Keep your pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life. See you guys.